All right, what's up, everybody? It's Brendan Mania here again. I forget, what is this, episode five or six of my eBay purchases? Um, I didn't do one last week because I'd only ordered... Oh, I'd ordered, like, six cards, but three of them were, like, coming from far away or something, so... Um, I had only received three, and I was like, well, that's not really... I don't know if I can make a long enough video with just three cards, but... Uh, and I'm starting to run out of ideas for what to do in the background here, but I've got new cards that are graded right now, so once I, uh, show them in the video today, maybe I'll start using them in the back. I don't know, I try to mix it up every now and then. Um, so the first card is actually the first wrong, like, delivery I've ever got, so... So this was supposed to be... An octofractor, which means that the background has a bunch of little octagon shapes. And, I mean, it kind of looks like it does, but it's just the cage in the background. But, no, the whole card is supposed to have, like, a thicker octagon texture. Texture, I'm sorry. But, uh, no, he sent me the wrong card. He sent me just a regular one, which is not what I wanted. And I've already messaged him and made an eBay report. I hate the eBay reports. They're like, oh, well, it says here that you received your package, so why are you telling us you didn't? And I was like, I didn't say I didn't receive the package. I said I didn't receive my card. Uh, so this was $61. I would not pay $61 for this specific card that I actually received. It's an on-card auto. I mean, maybe this is worth like 20 bucks. I don't know, but... If he doesn't want this back, I could send this to get graded. It looked like it was in nice shape, but it's not what I ordered. I'll show you guys an Octofractor in one, one card. This was the other card that I got with that card. They came together. So this one, he sent me the right card. It's it's not an Octofractor. It's just a regular Demetrius Johnson. I wish he had an Octofractor. I don't even know if there is one. But I was like, oh, it's a Demetrius. You know, he's like the greatest of all time that no one ever talks about. I got this for $32. I want to get this graded. It's an on-card autograph. The autograph's kind of weak. It's got it's got a uh, the bottom right there. Is, the ink ran out and the far left, the ink kind of ran out. But overall, the card looks in nice condition. I got both of these from the same guy, and I've ordered from him before and never had an issue. So I'm hoping that... Uh, you know, he responds or something. I don't know. Hopefully he didn't send my card to whoever was supposed to get this one. And then hopefully he still has my card. But So this one I'm excited about. This is an Octofractor. You see the difference here? You see the octagon <laughs> pattern in the background? And I was super happy with this card. It is in perfect condition. Like I looked at it and everything. Anything you might see in the video right now is just from the case or the sleeve or whatever that it's in. This thing I'm super thrilled with. I think it'll get a 10 for sure. And then I might grade the autograph. I thought the autograph looked kind of weak, but then again, I just saw like the worst Kamura or Kamaru Usman autograph I've ever seen. And it got a 9 and it was like cut off in like two different places and... I was like, if that got a 9, this TJ should get a 10, just because it wore out a little bit on the T and the I. This is an Octo. This is what it's supposed to look like. These are super short printed. There's only like 20 or 30 of them, I think. And they only came out of like these hot boxes. And uh, I've got another Octo coming later on. But you might have already seen it um, in another video. But for that TJ, I pay $39.95. There was one for 30 but my buddy Fight Night Cards on Instagram bought it. <laughs> so that's why I panic bought that one because I was like, oh man, there's only one left. I knew there was two. I was thinking about buying both of them. But, uh, can't have everything, so. And, you know, I'm not really a big Aljo fan. I believe my boy TJ is going to beat him soon when they fight. But I saw this and it was going for, I got it for $50. And I was like, well, you know, these are short printed to about 20, I think. And, you know, in the slight chance that, you know, he does beat my boy, you know, I'll get this graded and maybe I'll be able to sell this for a lot. I have no interest in holding any Aldermane 
white sparkle cards personally but hey if you like them i'm gonna be grading this one and i have one for sale right now already so got this for uh 50 bucks <clears throat> hopefully it gets at least a nine i'm hoping for 10 but most of the cards that you see on ebay i already kind of knew this but i'm finding out more and more as i order them ungraded there's always something wrong with them whether it be a little dimple from the factory or a print line or just some random thing on the back like people are selling them for a reason most of the time that's why i was so happy that tj especially being so old was in perfect condition but here we got mr curtis blades what is this with the gold flash prism so these are the cards i was talking about how there's their number as you can see they're numbered out of 10 like this is 9 out of 10 you know i think that's actually on the card that black right there i believe that's actually on the card i don't know if i'll be able to get that off or not but so that and that and there goes the 10 right there like i said just because there's some little black dot on the back but yeah they're numbered out of 10 but there's this version, there's the disco version, and then there's the regular gold version where there's no, like, effect. So there's really, there's 30 of the golds. They just have a different look to them. So, just keep that in mind when you think about how rare these cards really are. It's the same picture, the same numbered out of 10, three different times. But the autograph looks perfect. Definitely going to get that graded. I, I, it'll probably get a 9-10. Like the car will grade a 9 and the auto grade a 10. Because that looks perfect. Um, I had originally only seen one of these on eBay. It was listed for 112 bucks, And I was like, eh, I don't know if I really want to pay that for Curtis Blades. <clears throat> so I was like, I'll wait. I saw one go up for auction. As you can see, I won it for less than half of that. $53. Uh, the last one that sold was $76, and I believe the one is still up for $112. I think it might be 20% off right now. I think he has one of those deals because no one's buying it. All right, our next card here, we got Mr. Matt Hughes. This is my second, I think. It's been so long since I made a video, I can't even remember how many I have now. I believe this is my second one of these. I got the other one for like $53. And uh, I got this one for $51 or something along those lines. And this one's number 10 out of 10. My phone loves to zoom in and out, so I'm sorry about that. I don't know why it's doing that. Um, but yeah, these, I think there, yeah, there might have been something wrong with it. There might be a dimple, like I was saying, somewhere. I don't know. Maybe it's the other one I'm thinking of. Nope, there they are. There is dimples up by his head and by that red emblem. Bro, my freaking goodness. Look at it. You see this? This is what I have to deal with with this phone. I'm sorry. I give up. Sorry you guys had to witness that. My phone loves doing that, dude. And I don't, I don't know. <clears throat> Uh, I don't know what's going on with it. I had a really good phone at one point and it, it got discontinued. But All right, so I swear this is not my favorite fighter. Like TJ is my favorite in this weight class. Um, so, but you know, I'm on a mission to collect all the Dom Cruz gold cards. So I think I've let one slip that I've seen so far. And right now it's listed. The poor card, somebody bought it and graded it with SGC, and it's a listed for like $250, and that's ridiculous. It's only a 9, but uh, I feel bad for it. that They bought it and then put it in an SGC case. That poor Dom Cruz. Uh, I got this one for 100 bucks. This is the normal, the normal, you know, not a... Uh, Not special, like weird. I'm trying to see what's going on with this pattern. Is that just the card? But of course, my I'm gonna have to look at this with my own eyes for a second. So it, uh, yeah, it looks like there's 
like dimples, but I don't think that's what that is at the top. I think that's just the lines. These these lines like on the right here on both sides. I don't know. Well, I'm sure there's something wrong with it, and that's why someone was selling it. But it's number nine out of ten. I got it for a hundred bucks. I think I have like seven of these now. Like, <laughs> and you want to know what the next card is? Another one. This is the gold flash. Um, you know, this autograph's cut off at the top a little bit. I don't know how much that actually affects the grade. If it does, I would assume it does. But, you know, I feel like it's only 15 bucks more. You know, I feel like I have to grade the autos if I do it. Some of these I want to send back to get regraded because, like, look, that Valentina Shevchenko, the autograph looks perfect. I want to get it graded. You know, that rose up there, you can't see it, but the auto looks perfect. Want to get it graded, you know. This one's got the auto graded. And it adds value, especially with the 10. And it gets another 10, double 10s. And I'm just getting spammed with messages right now. What is that? Is that... That's on the outside. That's not on the card. That... What is that? That's in the case. I can feel it, so I know it's not on the card. That's so annoying. This stuff slides in like that, and I don't see it until I'm recording. It's going to drive me nuts. I'll probably get that off <clears throat> afterwards. But Ah, uh, yeah, so anyway, I paid 100 bucks for this. I'm getting spam with messages right now, too. Sorry about that, but uh, if I'm pausing... Uh, like I said before, I, lo I do lose track of my thoughts sometimes, but I'm I'm getting like five messages from different platforms and stuff. So, um, we've got the ex champ, Mister Jan Blakovich. I thought this was a nice card. It's got part of the F and part of the C. It's got a nice looking autograph. It's numbered at eight, number four out of eight. The card itself's a little smudgy. It's got some fingerprints on it that I need to kind of clean off before I send it to get graded. I got it from Probstein, and I tell everyone, you know, it sucks that so many people use Probstein to sell their stuff because they do not care about their products at all. They're moving too much stuff. They don't care about each individual item. I've never got a product ever from them that was in perfect condition like this has like i said it's the card might get a 10 if i can get all these smudges off and stuff but there's so many smudges like you can't see them i don't think from from like the it's in two different case, three cases so i mean i don't know if you can see them but it's got some issues and i need to wipe them off and i got to be careful because i think there's one around the autograph and i don't want to mess with the autograph but i want to get around the autograph but they're, they just suck. I've gotten uh, <clears throat> PS, every PSA case that I've got from them has scratches on it, and it's super annoying. Uh, I've, they're the only people I've left negative feedback to. And this card came, like, out of the case. Like, they barely even packaged it, and it was, like, sticking out. I got super lucky that it didn't get damaged. But uh, I paid $67 for this, which I thought was a steal. It's numbered at an 8. It's got a nice patch. Like, it's got a good autograph. It's an immaculate collection. These boxes are expensive. And uh, I got that for uh, 67 bucks. I'll take that all day. All right. These are all going to be the same person coming up. So get ready. We got the champ, Divison Figueredo. I like these uh, global icon cards. I was thinking about getting the non-gold ones graded that I have. I know those are in mint condition. Uh, this one, I think there was something wrong with it. I think it had like a print line or something. Big surprise, print lines on a Panini product that just came out brand new. Uh, this is number 8 out of 10. Still thought it was a cool card worth grading, even if it gets a 9 or an 8 or something. I thought it was cool. But I got it for $38, so, you know, $38 bucks is pretty good for a gold champion card. 
There's currently one for sale for $80, but there's a $13 shipping because it's from like Canada or something. So you're going to be paying like 100 bucks with taxes and everything involved. So. <clears throat> and you know what really sucks is some of these cards I'm ordering are going through the eBay like check program or something. Like if you can get it for free if you hold your stuff in the vault. It gets sent from the vault to the back to the company like P panini or uh not P psa or whatever it's graded by i think it gets sent all the way back to that company and then they have to like check it real quick and make sure it's the actual card and then it gets sent to you and it adds like a whole week and it's really annoying and it's happening right now to some of my cards so I'm, i've got some good cards coming some good cards coming on the way but uh here we go another one Mr. Divison Figueredo. His gold flash autograph. Maybe this is the one that had the print line. I think this had like the smallest print line. I think it was, I think it's actually on the front. And I think it's, I don't think I could see it, but it's like up here. It's like the smallest print line if this will focus. There's, it's in too many things to see it, but it's up there, and it, I was like, oh, this looks really nice, and then I saw that, I was like, are you serious? Everything has to have an issue from this company, Panini, man, they're really slacking, but uh, they're about to get bought, I think, by Fanatics, so. Fanatics is going to change, uh, there's going to be, hopefully they're talking about getting rid of these stupid redemptions, I'm still waiting on a redemption, I got one of, uh, what's her name, Wei Li? Zhang, Zhang Wei Li? I can't remember what her name is, but uh, I got a numbered out of 99 auto of hers, a redemption. I redeemed it, and I think it's only been like two months or something, but it's taken forever. I know two months isn't a long time. Most people, there's people waiting years for some of their stuff. I've lost track of what it, uh, I got this for $40. There's one listed right now for 85 bucks. Oh, uh, you know, this is why I wait for auctions sometimes. Unless it's something that I really want and I can afford it. I mean, oh, sorry, I'm still not feeling the best either. That's why I keep sniffing. I'm sorry if you guys have to hear that, but trying my best here to survive. But, <clears throat> well, yeah, I mean, unless it's something I really, really want and I don't want to risk someone else buying it, I'll just wait and see if one goes up for auction. But,. If you think the price is good, buy it though. But here we got the best one of these of that guy. Immaculate Collection Divison Figueredo, number three out of five, with the U logo and a good signature, and it's fighter worn. It says uh, right here the enclosed fighter worn slash used material. Pretty sure that all all the stuff you're seeing is on the case. I mean, it's on this plastic thing. Actually, I do. That is on the plastic thing. I was really annoyed when I saw that, but the case has never been opened. So there is a bunch of scratches on this case. The card, however, should be in perfect condition because, like I said, the case has never been opened unless it somehow gets damaged. It does shift around in there. Um. So unless that damaged like some of the sides, this should be a 10. I'm going to get this graded and the auto graded. That way I don't have to worry about it shifting around. Because it is shifty in there. I can hear it. <clears throat> uh, so that card I got for $123.50. There is a very, very similar one on eBay right now. If you like that card, there's one that's numbered at an 8, not numbered at a 5. It has like the same patch and everything. Uh, it's listed for 225 bucks, so it's like double what I paid. It's on there right now. Um, if you like that card and you can afford that. That same exact card I just showed you was last sold for $157.50, so it lost like 30 bucks in value. Uh, but you know, that's not really that big of a deal to me. Especially since I'm the one that bought it for less. <laughs> Alright, here we go. To add to my champion collection here with the rest of them. And I do have Brandon Moreno upstairs also. I didn't have another thing. 
Oh, I didn't have room for him. That box that's holding those two in the back doesn't have room for a third. But we got Brock Lesnar. And I got this from Australia. And it took like a month to get here. But uh, he was the only one selling it. So it was a Mint 9 with a 10 auto. And like I said, the 10 auto adds value, especially if it grades a 9. And so in like Australian currency, it was like 400 something dollars. But in America currency, that only added up to $235.83. Now, that was super annoying that eBay doesn't just transfer it to American currency. I had to place a bid in Australian currency and just guess. Like, I Googled it and everything, but I tried to offer him an offer lower of like 200 bucks, but it was so late at night with the time difference for him. He wasn't awake and the auction was about to end, and I didn't want to risk like losing it. So I just accepted his, uh, I just bid on it for the lowest possible, which was two thirty five eighty three. dollars um, It's telling me on PSA verification that there's a, this is a pop one with zero higher. I did see one of these in a 10 on eBay for like $600 or $700 though. So I'm wondering if because the auto is graded, that's why it's saying there's none higher. <clears throat> But I don't know. I definitely saw a silver 2022 champ autograph PSA 10 on eBay. So I don't I don't know. It's telling me pop one. I don't know. But zero higher. All I could think of is that the uh the auto is graded. That card, I this card actually took so long to get here. I forgot it was a silver prism. I thought it was just a regular nine. And then uh, with a 10 auto, and when I got it and opened it, it was actually a nice surprise because I was like, oh, look at that. It's a silver. I had no idea. Totally forgot. All right, we're on to the old school autographs. You're going to see this card twice. This is the regular version. So Max Holloway on card auto, PSA, Gem Mint 10. I got this for $127.06. This is a population 10, so there's 10 of these. But this is still rarer than one of those new 2022 gold out of 10s. First of all, this is an on-card autograph. Anything you get from Panini nowadays is a sticker for the most part. The sticker will be placed right here. They, that, this card was literally in Max Holloway's hand. He had to sign this card. Anything you get now like these, they get like a like sheets of just blank stickers and they sit there and sign them all and then the cards, someone else sticks them on later on. But this is a nice card. <clears throat> I literally, I just bought this because it was there. Like I didn't even really want this. I probably should have let someone else have it. It is relisted on eBay right now. If you want this card, uh, just Google it and you can, or not Google it, I'm sorry. And just type in, you know. Type in this on eBay, 2018 Tops, UFC, Chrome, Max, Holloway, Auto, Gem Mint 10, PSA 10, whatever. And you'll find it. It's on there. I'm trying to earn a little bit of money back from some of these cards that I don't necessarily want. <clears throat> now, here's the good version. Boom. Why is this the good version? It looks exactly the same. This is the Octofractor. You see that? You see, it's kind of hard to see with the background of this card. Uh, down here, you can see better in the light. Um, it's really dark over here. You can still see it though. Let's do a little uh, side by side action. They look identical from far away. But, uh, Definitely not. This one is definitely a lot rare. Octofractors, like I said, special, limited, like 20 or 30 of them. They come out of those like weird hot boxes. This is a pop one. So this one I'm keeping. This one cost me about double, $201.50. I've got a little Octofractor collection going on now. Uh, my buddy Fight Night Cards... Got me into the Octos. <clears throat> so, 
which he might kind of regret at this point because now I'm his competition buying him. <laughs> but like the Dom, I'm sorry about the Dom Cruise, all right? I will admit, he told me about the Dom Cruise and he's like, let me have this one. I was like, all right, I'll let you have it. <laughs> this one. And you know what? You know what my bad karma was for stealing it from you? I didn't even get it. I got this crappy one instead. So, you know, I, if you think about it, I really saved you from having to deal with this eBay problem that I now have to deal with. So, so that's my bad karma. I already got it. Instant karma. I got the wrong card. Speaking of Octofractors, this might have already been in another video. We have the female goat. Amanda Nunez. Octofractor. Again, you can see that awesome pattern in the background. On card autograph. Limited to like 20 or 30 in the world. I uh, got it in 9.5, but uh, BGS. Uh, Beckett 9.5 usually means 10 for PSA. Sometimes it doesn't. I mean, like the centering 9.5. Edge has got a 10. The corners, nine, uh, regular 9, surface 9.5. So, you know, three of those are 9.5 or higher. So this would probably get a 10 if I sent it to PSA. Uh, but I will never do that. If it's a 9.5, I don't, I don't even want to risk it. Uh, does this normally happen? This thing is loose. Is that normal? Is it because of the olds? Like, are the old ones like that? Like, you can hear it. It's, it's jiggling around. It's really annoying. I, I don't know if I've seen that happen to other people. I don't know if, if that's because it's an old 2018 case or not, but I, I don't really have too much experience with BGS. I usually go with PSA. There's two of these 9.5s for Amanda Nunez um, Octofractors. So out of the 20 or 30, two of them are 9.5, and there's one PSA 10. And I think I saw a PSA 9 on there for like 200 bucks. It was on sale 50% off. So if you want this in a 9 from PSA, there's one up there for 200 bucks. The 10 on there, I think it's like 700 bucks. Um, all right, so are you guys ready for this? So I paid 200 bucks for this card, which is a steal. This is a steal. The ask was $500, guys. He was asking 500 bucks for this, and I just threw a, a low ball offer like I normally do. I was like, you know, I'll give you 200 bucks for it, and instead of counter offering me or anything, he just accepted it. Like, and that's what I was talking about with my last video. Because of the stock market crashing and the war and all this stuff and like, like you know, things are probably going to get really bad in the next year or two. But <clears throat> people are like panic selling and dumping their stuff and, you know, to just accept a 60% off offer like on a card like this, either he was trying to sell it for a long time or he needs the money and, you know. That's where I come in, man. I'm in a position right now where I'm just ready to buy your stuff. So you want to sell it for cheap, then I'll take it. And I'll hold it until prices go back up, if they ever do. <laughs> All right, guys. You might have already seen this in another video or on Instagram. I do have an Instagram. It's Brendan underscore mania underscore on underscore YT for YouTube. So it's Brendan mania on YouTube. <clears throat> Here we go. Boom. 2022 Kamara Usman Championship Signature Mojo Prism PSA 10. With a beautiful autograph. I really want to send this back to have the autograph graded. After what I just saw. I just saw one where the... The, um, whatever that is in the middle was like cut off like halfway and then the K was like cut off at the bottom and it was like, it got a 9. I was like, if that garbage autograph got a 9, this will definitely get a 10. This is perfect. Like, the, everything is in there. It's nice and centered. I mean, it kind of looks like the ink started to run out a little bit on the that line in the bottom, but still. <clears throat> this one was expensive, as you'd expect. But 
I got this for $405.80. This is a Pop 2. Look at that. It's just such a sick, like, tire tread looking pattern. Like, I don't know. Like, <clears throat> uh, so the only other card of this is listed on eBay right now for $1,500. So I got this for like 30% of what the other one's going for. Uh, like I said, you gotta wait. And when you see an opportunity come up, and you know, next video, I got another really good card coming that's a mojo. Yeah, if it gets here, it's being sent to the freaking eBay authenticator system. So who knows how long it'll actually take. This one was sent there too. It took like a whole week longer to get to me. So I imagine the other one's actually probably gonna take two weeks as well, so... But yeah, this is the uh, the prize of this video. <clears throat> and I hope you guys enjoyed. This actually, I think we broke the record for the most I spent in one of these videos. But this was over two weeks and not one. So uh, I spent $1,925.64. So, you know, I'm spending a lot of money, but... Like I said, there's a lot of opportunities and they're all coming at once. And I don't, I'm not the type of person that likes to miss things. You know, I don't like to lose when there's something I want. However, I am smart about it though. Like <clears throat> I've lost a card by like a dollar because I bid my top dollar and then I sit there and wait. And if someone outbids me, you know, it is what it is. I don't keep going because I want it. That's how you go broke. I determine the value I think it's worth in my head, and I bid, and you know, if I get outbid, it sucks, especially if it's only by a dollar or two, but, you know, I don't want to bid more than what I think it's worth, so the next card I got coming that I was just talking about is actually a card I've lost before, just that way, I bid my price, and someone outbid me by five bucks, and I lost. And guess what? Someone else, maybe even the same person, relisted that card or a different version of that card. And I actually won it. Um, I offered him the price that I was willing to pay for the last one, and he accepted. So, you know, it all worked out. I ended up getting the same card for the price that I wanted. And, you know, it is what it is. But, uh, <clears throat> you know, you just have to control your budget, guys. I have been spending a lot of money, but, you know, I didn't know these cards existed. And I have a lot of money saved up, and, you know, life's good right now. You know, the stock market crashing my 401k is not really a nice thing to look at, but... Besides that, everything's going good. So I have spent a lot of money. I do have a pretty nice collection. And I do want to send like $3,000 worth of cards to get graded. So, you know, that's going to suck. And then I need to buy a new car. Or like not a brand new car. But, you know, my car is not going to make it too much longer. My poor 94 Celica. It's in like mint condition. Except the rust from living in Connecticut killed it. But... <clears throat> So, you know, there's some big expenses coming, so I got to budget myself a little bit. I'm starting to do overtime again, so, you know, I'll be making a killing again. I'll replace all the money I've spent in no time, as long as the overtime doesn't go away. So, just spend what you can spend, guys. Know what your budget is. Um, And then, if you can, work that overtime, man. Get that extra money. It might suck doing it, but you'll, you'll appreciate your paycheck at the end of it. That's uh, the way I was raised, so... Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I got more good cards coming on the way. And I'll see you guys hopefully next week. Thanks for watching.